What's good, y'all? It's the Mega Manager here, checking in for another entry in my Getting Lean series, man. So, today, I'm actually going to record my pull workout for you guys. I tried to record my workout yesterday, but my camera battery wasn't, battery wasn't charged. So, I was like, alright, man, fuck it, let me scrap that. I got some things recorded, so I'm going to put it up on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put it on the screen. At Aesthetic My Nature. A-E-S-T-H-E-T-I-C-B-Y Nature. Alright, cool. So, um, I'm going to record my pull workout for you guys today. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking tired. I don't know if you can tell or not. Um, I got 30 minutes of sleep last night. I know that sounds fucking crazy. So, <laughs> um, as a lot of you guys know, um, I work a night shift. Um, but, so, a lot of the time I'll sleep during the day. And I also said before that my sleep cycle changes like every month or two. Sometimes I'll be able to make it through, like for like a whole month or two, I'll be able to make it through the whole night without sleeping. Then other times I have to take like, you know, a nap for like a couple hours or a few hours, something like that. It changes every couple months. My shit just changed uh, like two days ago. So now I'm staying up the whole entire night um, and I'm sleeping during the day. Even though, and it's funny because like, even though um, I have to adapt to, you know, being up all night, um, I still get sleepy, like, even if I sleep during the day, like, you know, six to eight hours or whatever, like, straight, uh, if I can, um, by human nature, we still get sleepy at night time, like, we're meant to be sleep when it's dark outside, <laughs> um, and that's what our, you know, natural clocks are set to, and, like, I get really sleepy, um, at, at night time sometimes, and it just sucks, but I decided that, you know, I want to do this whole morning workout thing. So as long as I get home, I get my pre-workout in me, got the caffeine in me, I'm good to go. Um, I'm going to try to push through it a little bit. I was just kind of trying to lay down. I almost fell asleep. But I'm going to get to the gym and we'll kill the shit. All right, so since I, since I didn't get my clip from yesterday um, up on YouTube, I'm going to say it today. So i am switched my workouts up. So now I'm doing giant sets. Uh, so pretty much instead of supersets, I'm doing giant sets, which is kind of like the next step up. It's a lot more intense, and actually my chest is fucking destroyed right now. <laughs> and uh, I know my shoulders and triceps are going to feel it soon, too. Um, but pretty much just four exercises, back to back to back to back, no rest. And then you rest about a minute or two and do that shit a couple more times. And, you know, I do rest pause and drop sets and shit on the last set. And that shit just fucking destroyed me. Like, I remember at the end of the first set, man, I was drenched in sweat. I was breathing heavy. I was, my sh Man, it's, it's a lot harder. <laughs> and um, some of the exercises, oh shit. See, I, I was trying to take a little nap. Had to set an alarm. Just miss. <laughs> so, I had to lighten some of the weight for some exercises, um, like for shoulders and triceps uh, versus what I would usually do just because like, you know, for after the chest part, um, the stabilizing and supporting muscles, they get hit a lot harder than they do regularly because uh, you're putting a way more stress on your muscles, um, way more stress on everything that's used in the movement when you do giant sets. Because it's literally four exercises for the same body part, back to back to back to back, and that shit is tough. And I remember um, when I was doing the fly, like by the time I got to my flies, I did it press press, fly fly, and by the time I got to the flies, like my fucking delts, like my front delts were burning. Um, my triceps were feeling it um, by the time uh, that I got to the flies and like by the incline dumbbell press that I did too. And yeah, man, it's just, uh, it's pretty tough, man. So that's what I'm doing today. It's going to be um, my version of a pin lay uh, row. It's kind of like a pin lay slash power row. And then I'm going to do these hammer strength low rows and then lat pull downs and then uh, rope straight on push down and then I'm just gonna put four bicep exercises together I'm not sure which ones I want to do yet but I'm gonna figure that out and then we hit traps the same way I always do and we're gonna get it yeah man if you if you want to grow man if you want to get stronger you want to get better man you gotta push it man I don't care if you fucking cutting bulking maintaining whatever like push it like you can't expect to get results doing minimal things like I don't do minimal with anything no matter what body part it is i'm training it uh as hard as i possibly can and you know focusing on it with specific techniques trying to kill it man trying to grow trying to get stronger like that's what it takes and a lot of people just don't understand that man like and then they complain about you know not getting stronger or certain body parts not growing this that, and the third i'm like well you know you're not taking it as seriously as you do some other body parts you know that little rant was um inspired by uh chris jones uh, you know, aka the big bro. Hopefully, one day you'll see some of my videos and say what's up. All right, man. So we're jumping off this workout with my version of the pin lay row. It's a pin lay slash power row. Um, pretty much what's happening here. 
Um, it's a power based movement, so you're just trying to move it as explosively as possible. And my thing is just focusing on getting my elbows back and getting that contraction at the top. Um, so what I usually do is um, I use my legs just a little bit, uh, especially when I get to fatigue. Um, I use my legs just a little bit to help me get out the ground, and I yank it up with my back, and I make sure I get that contraction at the top. And um, you actually feel it a lot more than you think, and it's really one of the best ways to overload your back. It's really hard, you know, once the weight gets heavy to do, you know, extremely strict rows. And if you're trying to get, you know, 275 plus, you know, with rows and stuff like that, you got to do some version of like, you know, a power row or a cheat row or something like that. And this is one of this is the way that I like and that's the way that I feel it in my back. All right, so then, so I'm doing giant sets. So this is hammer low row. So pretty much, I went from the the first exercise, a little bit more targeting, you know, upper back, and this one's more mid to lower back. Okay, um, it's definitely just because the hands are a lot closer, um, and the elbows are really really tight to the body. It's gonna hit the mid to lower lats, um, and just focusing on hitting the rep ranges I wanted to. So the first one's nine to eleven. This one was twelve to fifteen. Um, the next one I'm doing lat pull downs for fifteen to twenty reps. And then the last exercise is straight on pushdowns uh, with the rope for 20 to 25 reps right here. And with the lat pulldowns, man, I'm just focusing on getting that stretch at the top and pulling it all the way down and touching my chest. And it's high rep and, uh, you know, fati I'm fatigued and everything. So trying to get through them uh, pretty fast. But I'll still make sure I get a contraction. Um, I make sure I'm not swinging too much and not using too much momentum or anything. But uh, it's definitely taxing and definitely fatiguing. It's pretty hard. Um, but it's just something that you got to push through. And focus on squeezing your elbows and we do lap pull downs. And you definitely feel it. I definitely felt it by the end of that. So like I said, the last thing that I'm doing is the rope straight on push downs. Uh, this is probably my favorite um, back movement as far as, you know, to get a pump and everything like that. This really finishes it off. And I'm telling you, after this set... Um, after this whole giant set, I, my, my mid, my middle lats were like tight and pumped. Like, um, and it's definitely because, you know, topping it off with this isolation movement. It's probably the best isolation movement that you can do for your back. And if you're not doing straight on pushdowns, you're really lacking a lot for your back, man. Uh, a lot of gains that you're going to be missing. And the thing with this is make sure you keep your core tight, bend your knees a little bit and pull it down. Try to pull your arms, um, at least beside your legs. Uh, so you get that full contraction and go right above your shoulders at the top and you'll be good to go with that one. Alright, first set complete. And I'm sweating, I'm breathing heavy. Uh, and my lats are screaming. Especially like in the mid to lower. Oh my god, it's just fucking tight as hell, but ain't nothing like your lap on foot. So the benefit of uh, I, well, first off, I hit all the back ranges I wanted to, uh, which is actually pretty good because I guessed a lot of the weights. Uh, so for these uh, these pin lady slash power rows, um, form breaks down a little bit when you get fatigued or whatever, but uh, that's to be expected, really. Um, but the good thing about it, especially with power type movements, you get to cheat a little bit. So what I you do is I use I like to use my legs for a little bit of momentum, and I roll it up my back, and I try to focus on that contraction. Literally, like. Um, after my legs, you know, just move it a little bit. I'm off the ground. I'm pulling it with my back and trying to get that contraction. I make sure that I pull it all the way and touch my lower stomach. Whether it looks like it on camera or not, every time I do it, I feel it on my lower belly. So that's really the key with those. And then the other exercises, just keeping the form right, squeezing, and getting a crazy pump. Whew, so I got two more sets. Probably gonna perform more. HK Production.
Back session complete. Whew. So what I like to do, I've been doing it for a little bit over a month. I think I've just been throwing pullovers into the end of my workout. One day, my first back day, I do heavier weight for less reps, and then the other day I do lighter weight for higher reps, just to get a little bit of um, extra back volume in there, and it'll help get my lats a little bit wider and also work my uh, serratus and everything like that. So that when I lean down, everything is cut and chiseled, man. That's really the goal. Trying to develop my muscles as much as I can. So now I'll do seven minutes of cardio, uh, hit cardio, and then I'm gonna get the biceps. And after that, 15 minutes of cardio, hit cardio, all body weight stuff, plyometric. And also using dumbbells for the 15 minutes one. Um, and then and then traps. After that's it. May not be cardio after that. I don't know yet. All right, man. So confession time. I've done all kinds of different cardio before. I've done. Treadmill in the past, on a Stairmaster, uh, fucked with elliptical, bikes, um, hit cardio on all those before. Um, I've done cardio acceleration, I've done Tabata's between sets, and now I've done what I do now uh, between my sets. And to be honest, this is the best one so far. Um, I've only been doing it for, I'll say honestly, I've been cutting for like probably four weeks. So the first four weeks, I wasn't doing enough cardio, and um, I was. Yeah, the diet was fine. It's just I wasn't doing enough cardio. I wasn't working hard enough because I thought that um, Before when I did my six-week stretch series, I was already lean so it's easier to lose body fat at that point So I didn't have to do as much cardio as I have to do now because I started like fucking like probably 20 pounds heavier than that shit So I had to work a lot harder now. So um, but now that I start doing this uh, Makes the workouts go by pretty good and it gives you a lot of rest in between whatever body parts that you're doing Like if you go from chest to shoulders, uh, your shoulders get you know an extra, you know five to ten minutes however much cardio you're doing it gets that much rest because in case you didn't know your shoulders are they stabilize every single chest movement you do so if you go from chest to shoulders your shoulder lifts are going to be a little bit less than what you would have done if you would have started out fresh with them so uh, this gives you a little bit extra break and then you can hit the weights that you really want to and everything so i really enjoy it and it helps me uh power through my workout and uh i mean this is pretty much my workouts they take about two hours but it's pretty much the same as if I was working out for an hour and doing cardio for an hour. It's pretty much the same shit. And the results come by pretty fast because um, I wasn't really losing any weight like the first few weeks because I was pushing. But now, in the past like uh, three weeks, it's like the fourth week I've been doing this shit. Oh um, man, this shit is melting off, man. So, and it cardio for the win if you ain't nobody. Alright, so I finished my, bout of my round of cardio and now I moved on over to uh, start off my biceps. I started off with incline dumbbell curls. Uh, so what I'm doing is two exercises that focus on the short head and then two exercises that focus on the long head of the bicep. Uh, so pretty much with these ones, I've actually gotten pretty strong with them and I'm starting to see the results, you know, from getting stronger with things like curls and also just getting my triceps stronger as well. Like I feel like my arms are, you know, a lot bigger and I'm able to, you know, do 12 to 15 reps, um, pretty clean reps with uh, 40 pound dumbbells on the inclined dumbbell curl. It's pretty difficult. Uh, I just try to focus on, you know, trying to focus on squeezing my to keep my elbows on um, down by my side and not swinging it and you know controlling the, the weight the whole entire time so after that i moved into some spider curls which is a new movement for me uh i think i kind of copied it from jeff cavalier i kind of like the look of the movement and it's another thing that puts a you know a crazy stretch on the short head of the bicep um definitely help you work on that peak and everything and with this movement your biceps are always under tension there's not one point when you're resting at the bottom is fully lengthened and the the weight is stretching your muscle so it's getting work there and at the top is that it's peak contraction and your muscles you know you're fighting gravity pretty much the entire time okay so it's a definitely a great move and i did that with 20 pounds i believe so it's about half of what i did for incline dumbbell curls so the next move is going to be the reverse curls which actually work your forearms but also um it hits that outer part of the bicep man that that part that makes your bicep a little bit wider a little bit meatier okay and i noticed that with this first set um, I was just honestly it's fatigue and I was trying to get I was trying to get through the set um, So, you know, this is how I was doing it um, And I fixed it the second and third set just because I felt like I was swinging it a little bit after I um, Watched the film, but I was pulling it with my biceps and um, I was you know Controlling it for the most part going down and then I had a crazy pump and then you're gonna see um, on the last rep that I dropped the weight and I literally like run across the gym because 
uh that's how my biceps are screaming that's how much it hurt <laughs> that's how much that's how much it hurt right there so um definitely got a good pump you know form doesn't have to be perfect with curls man nobody does that shit perfectly man no thing is perfect form so i capped this off with some cable hammer curls um another thing that focuses on the long head of the bicep uh and just you know try to get some volume in there man Tw i believe it did about 20 reps it's really lightweight uh focus on keeping your elbows right by your side when you do this one and try not to swing it and try not to use your body um body weight too much man um so like i like i've always said before when i do biceps i try to hit it with reps and you know um, as heavy weight as i can for you know higher rep ranges all right man so i got one more set left let me share my mouth <laughs> i got one more set left uh, I watched the film and on the reverse curls, uh, I was like kind of swinging in it a lot on the first set. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna keep the weight the same, but I'm just gonna lower the amount of reps that I would do because the second set I wouldn't be able to get as many reps as I would anyway. So what I did was I slowed it down. I already did two sets, so what I did was um, I just slowed it down and controlled on the way down. I'll show you on the next one. I probably did about three or four reps, but um, controlling it and you know, I'm trying not to swing as much. So, uh, but by the end, but but still by the end of that first set, my body, I had to drop the shit. And my body just moves because I feel like my boss is about to fucking pop some shit. And it's a crazy pump, so what was that? Biceps complete. Uh, as you see, I slowed a lot of the movements down and controlled it for the last uh, for the last set. I actually did it for the last two sets. Um, I'm all about the contraction in the palms, and I, I try to make sure that my form's good. Uh, especially something like biceps, easy to get the form wrong, but there's no saying it's perfect form anyway. Um, you know, as long as you're feeling it, you're getting contraction, you get a pump, you're getting growth, you're getting stronger. Who gives a fuck? I don't care. <laughs> so, um, actually, I was about to do, I was about to start traps, but. I'm about to do cardio and then do traps. I might do traps. Now I'm cardio in the traps. I don't want to burn myself out. So I'm about to do my power hit uh, cardio. So it's 15 minutes of a bunch of different things with like a 20 pound dumbbells. Uh, so I'm going to fuck with that and I'll come back.
cardio. So my cardio for today is complete. So the beautiful, beautiful thing about hit cardio is that right after you're done, you're fine. Like you're not tired. Well, you're not tired until you stop. Like in between the sets, stuff like that. But afterwards, you'll be breathing heavy for like. Well, depending on what kind of shape you're in. Me, for example, um, I'm in pretty good shape now. By now, I've been doing this for a while. So, but then like 30 seconds to finish it, I'm good. Like I feel perfectly fine. Um. And it's just like you take so much less time to actually sit on the fucking machine. I haven't touched the fucking machine in I don't know how many months. And I probably, I'll probably never will again. Um, unless I was unable to do hit cardio. But I'm done with it. And now I gotta do traps and I'm out of here. And I'm not sure yet. I may or may not put clips of that in here and just make it its own video because that can be its own, you know, hit cardio, full body workout, whatever. Um, actually, yeah, that's pretty much a full body workout right there. For me, that's just cardio. But for somebody else that might not be, you know, at the level that I am, it could be something like a body workout for you with light dumbbells. Whew. All right, man. So I had a great workout. Um, definitely went in there and pushed the limits. I went in there. Uh, I put in work, man. Uh, you got to put in work or else you're not going to get the results that you want. I went in there. I did it to body. And then I did my back giant sets and then the, the few sets of pullovers right after that. And then I did seven minutes of cardio. And then I did my bicep giant sets. And all these workouts and stuff, I had drop sets and rest pauses on the last set of each one. Um, and then I did a 15 minute power hit workout, which is kind of like a full body workout. Um, but for me, it's more so just cardio. Um, it doesn't really uh, damage my muscles really. It just gives my heart rate up, makes me sweat and shit like that for 15 minutes. And then I went and did two intensity techniques uh, for my traps that help, my, help me grow my traps and everything. And those make me sweat and get my heart rate up, make me work hard. So I'm definitely putting in work. And the past few weeks has definitely shown. And, you know, the results are coming. Definitely going to have some progress stuff soon. Uh, give me another week or two. I'm going to let you guys see, man. But one thing I do want to say, it's all about the work that you put in. If you don't put the work in, you're not going to get the results that you want. I'll tell you that right now. You have to put in the work. For me, I like to push my limits. I'm working harder than anybody else. I don't think I know anybody that works as hard as I do in the gym, man. Um, I take this shit so fucking seriously. And I just love doing this shit. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm trying to prove a lot of people wrong. Prove a lot of things wrong that are just accepted as normal in society and everything, man. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I have a lot of goals. I'm trying to make it to the top. And I definitely know I'm going to make it there. And um and part of it's thanks to you guys for all the support and everything and just helping me grow my channel and everything. Like I think that right now it's growing faster than it's grown ever. So everything is going great right now and that really motivates me more to just get in the gym and kill it. And like even though I did that workout and all I had was protein and pre-workout beforehand, I still feel good. Like I'm not struggling, I'm not out of energy. Like I could do more if I wanted to, but I'm not doing to. It's not necessary. <laughs> but that's just the level that I like to perform at, it's the level I'm at. And that's just like what I like to do, man. So that's it for the video, man. I hope you liked the video, man. Don't forget to like the video, man. Don't forget to share it. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to highlight y'all, man. Make a manager.